important question that's now being debated. Is Oregon spending too much money to keep criminals locked up, or is that the reason why crime has gone down in recent decades? Our Dan Tilkin joins us with his special report into how this fight will now play out in front of Oregon's 36 prosecutors tomorrow, Dan. Was twice approved by Oregon voters overwhelmingly to crack down on crime. Well, tomorrow the DAs will hear proposals to dismantle parts of Measure 11 from at least one of their own members. I think we need major reform in our criminal justice system. When Mike Schmidt won the race for Multnomah County District Attorney this year, he pledged to chop away at Measure 11. I don't think mandatory sentencing makes sense. I think it it way overswung the pendulum to the right. It took the power away from judges to decide what the sentence should be. That ideology will be on display Friday as the Oregon District Attorneys Association listens to two sentencing proposals to the legislature to give judges more discretion. Washington County's DA thinks that's a bad idea. If you go back to the way things were before Measure 11, uh, that's in the 1980s and the 1990s, the violent crime rate in Oregon back then uh, was significantly higher than it was after Measure 11 was put into effect. So Measure 11 has proven some positive results for increasing public safety in Oregon, and I would hate to see that increased public safety diminished, uh, which I think will happen if Measure 11 is repealed. The DA's association released a survey recently of Oregon voters with mixed results about Measure 11. It shows a majority support keeping mandatory prison sentences for murder, forcible rape, armed robbery, and kidnapping. While well, half also said they support the legislature reducing mandatory minimum prison sentences for certain lower level assaults and robberies. But muddying the water, the survey also showed a majority support replacing all violent felony mandatory minimum prison sentences with discretionary sentences. We asked Schmidt for an interview. He declined, but he argued this back in May. Building more prisons means less money for things like education and health care. Uh, all of us would rather spend money on schools and on hospitals and on vital social services. Those are necessary and important things. But if we don't invest in the criminal justice system uh, to create that baseline level of public safety, then none of those other things uh, can happen. And we've been reporting this ideological battle has been ramping up in recent years. Before becoming Multnomah County DA, a Schmidt worked for Governor Brown studying ways to reduce prison populations. And Barton soundly defeated, you remember, a candidate for his office who was heavily funded by those who want to focus more on rehabilitation. There's a lot at stake in this argument. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that meeting tomorrow, Dan. Yeah, keep us posted.